In today's Monster Manual Mini, we're going to be talking about the Mind Flayer on page 221 and 222. There's so much with Mind Flayers. I love the miniatures. I love using them as villains. But we're going to stick to just the Monster Manual. So the Mind Flayer is a medium aberration, lawful evil. Their armor class is 15 due to a breastplate. Hit points average 71. That's 13d8 plus 13. Speed is 30 feet. Strength 11. Dexterity 12. Constitution 12. Intelligence 19. Wisdom 17. Charisma 17. Saving throws they get intelligence plus 7. Wisdom plus six, Charisma plus six. For skills, Arcana plus seven, Deception plus six, Insight plus six, Perception plus six, Persuasion plus six, Stealth plus four. For senses, Dark Vision, 120 feet, Passive Perception of 16. Their languages are deep speech and undercommon that they use telepathy, basically, at a 120 foot range. Challenge rating of 7. It's 2,900 experience points each. They have magic resistance, so advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. And innate spell casting, which are psionics. So they're Innate spell casting ability is intelligence with a spell save DC of 15. And they can innately cast the following spells requiring no components. At will, they can cast detect thoughts and levitate. And once per day, each they can dominate monster or plane shift themselves only. For actions, they have tentacles, the melee weapon attack of plus 7 to hit, reaching 5 feet, 1 creature. If they hit, it's 2d10 plus 4 psychic damage. If the target is medium or smaller, it's grappled with an escape DC of 15 and must succeed on a DC 15 intelligence saving throw or be stunned until this grapple ends. They can extract the brain, which is a melee weapon attack, plus 7 to hit, reach of 5 feet, and that's one incapacitated humanoid grappled by their tentacles. Hit is 10d10 piercing damage, so if the damage reduces the target to 0 hit points, the Mind Flayer kills the target by extracting and devouring its brain. No death saves, just death. And they can do a Mind Blast, which will recharge on a roll of 5 or 6 on a d6. The Mind Flayer magically emits psychic energy in a 60-foot cone. Each creature in that area must succeed on a DC 15 Intelligence Saving Throw, or take 4d8 plus 4 psychic damage. That's an average of 22 psychic damage. And be stunned for one minute. A creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending the effect on itself on a success. So Mind Flayers are nasty. Now they are not physical combatants. Of course, everything is all dedicated to intelligence, wisdom, charisma. They are the background leaders. And of course, being lawful evil, they are creatures that most player characters do not want to tussle with. This miniature is a Reaper miniature and I really liked the kind of robe and magic feeling of this creature. You often see the variant Mind Flayer Arcanists so they've supplemented their psionic power with arcane spells but those are generally considered deviants because they don't fit into their hive mind and hive 
personality. So you don't run into those as often as the standard Mindflayer variants. But I really like this sculpt. It was really cool. Tried to paint it looking kind of octopus-like with fleshy tentacle ends going into a blue skin and just really kind of royal robe colors. So purples and reds and golds and yellows. Wanted it to look almost kingly as alien as it is. Mind Flayers have a lot more lore listed out in Volos. Again, we're just looking at the Monster Manual standard Mind Flayer here. But the hunger for their for minds, for brains, is what keeps them going. That's what they eat, that's what they subsist on. Um, and those do have to be humanoid brains. So the brains provide enzymes, hormones, and psychic energy necessary for their survival. As a mind flayer healthy from a brain-rich diet secretes a thin glaze of mucus that coats its mauve skin, so it keeps it slick and wet. And they experience a euphoria as it devours the brain of a humanoid, uh, along with its memories, personality, and innermost fears. So mind flayers will sometimes harvest a brain rather than devour it, using it as part of some alien experiment or transforming it into an intellect devourer, which we'll probably cover in a different video. Now because mind flayers are pretty nasty creatures and generally work in a hive sense, I don't have a lot of miniatures for Mind Flayers. This is the only one I have painted. I have three others just in case I ever need them, but they are just primed and not painted at the moment. But I have not had too much opportunity to utilize Mind Flayers in my campaigns uh, just because the power level of a colony or a hive mind of mind flares can be so deadly but just to emulate what could happen and these are not frontline fighters so they should kind of lure player characters in but have creatures attack from the back unleashing their mind psionic blasts to the player characters but player characters who feel confident to try to sneak up on them or get up into melee combat will have to deal with the tentacles and possibly losing their brain. It's best if you're playing with Mind Flayers to make sure you keep your spell casters in long range to the back. I hope that you enjoyed this video and join us next week as we cover another monster from the Monster Manual.